hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Diafne if you know here welcome bienvenue and thank you for clicking on today's video as you can see I am super excited it's been too long it's been so long since I sat down to talk to you guys so today we're going to do this spring cute updated makeup routine using some new products the Fenty Beauty skin tint and some other little trinkets that I got from the Sephora VIB sale so please keep on watching I've been gone for far too long a lot has happened but we're back we're ready and we're here to stay now I'm going to do my makeup like a little spring summer makeup using the new Fenty Beauty Easy Drop Skin Tint. I am in the shade 21. Now we're gonna see if this matches because I don't know yet. But I am super excited to be filming this. This is more, this is not really a review. I mean, I'll talk about it a little bit, but this is just because I wanna try it and I got some new products from Sephora. Of course, my products were being shipped little bit at a time so i did not get a chance to do a recommendation video but i'm going to do a sephora haul video so a lot of these products you're going to see in the haul the first thing i'm going to do my brows but i'm going to use a new pencil just to try it out this is from hourglass this is the brown micro sculpting pencil in the dark brunette how are you guys doing how have you been i know i've been gone for a little while I actually want to thank all of you guys who actually checked on me. Some of you DM me on Instagram asking if everything was okay because I was gone for so long and that is not like me. Um, yeah, a lot has happened but I am now getting back to myself, feeling better. Everything is, you know, just getting better. It means a lot to see that you guys actually realized that I was gone. So. Thank you for that. Maybe one day um, we can talk about what happened. But as of now, I just want to keep that part of my life private. Because it was a very traumatic thing that happened. So not that I'm obligated to talk about it. But I feel like talking about it could help someone else who actually went through it. I'm just not ready to do that right now. But nonetheless, I'm so happy to be back being back sitting here and filming right now give me a sense of normalcy back into my life a lot changed in the last what did i say like two three months the last video you saw of me um was the zara haul i'll link it over here in the cards in case you want to check it out that was a video that was recorded like way before i even had the well not the courage but have the strength to edit and like actually upload it. I had other videos planned and I just could not, um, I couldn't deliver. Bear with me, I think I forgot how to do my makeup. I'm just gonna finish the brows and then we're gonna come back. But I'll link everything down below for you guys like always. By the way, you guys, we are at 628, 30 something subscribers and we're trying to reach a thousand. Now I'm back, we're going to be consistent. Don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all of that stuff. Um, leave down below video suggestions of things that you would like to see from me and I would be so happy to do them. I haven't done my makeup in so long and I haven't talked to the camera in so long, so I'm super chatty and just doing everything. So if you're still here, thank you very much. I love you. <laughs> if you clicked off, I don't know. Well, you can't hear me if you click off, but hopefully you, you're back. All right, so I'm going to prime my face. So this is just the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. You guys know I love this primer. I'm also going to use the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. I like this one a lot as well. Now for the star of the show, this is the Easy Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I have it, like I said, in the shade 21. Um, I did see a lot of people putting it on with their fingers. I won't be doing that because I don't like to get my fingers dirty when I'm doing my makeup. So I'm just going to use a brush like I normally do. I'm really hoping that this shade matches me. It looks a little olive. Maybe once we like blend it in. It feels really hydrating on the skin though. I think it matched. 
it has a nice little coverage this is the side with the skin tint it just looks like my skin but better wow my foundation shade um in the fenty beauty the the one that first came out the i think it's called pro filter is 430 and then i can do 440 in the summer and the 21 fit me pretty nicely i like it a lot very lightweight it doesn't really have a smell it matches perfectly it really literally just looks like my skin very glowy just nice oh my gosh i like it a lot have you guys tried it already and what do you think about it leave a comment down below and let me know because i think i already i think i'm already in love with it do you guys see it yeah yeah this is this is good i'm going to use my hourglass umber to highlight keep in mind that i totally forgot how to do my makeup though so all of this seems like foreign to me since i've been feeling better you guys i literally have um some videos planned out for you guys um I have the Sephora haul coming after this one. I have a luxury haul coming after the Sephora haul. You guys will absolutely love the luxury haul. There's some good pieces in there. Um, if you can guess what I what they are, like what brand you you probably can't guess exactly what they are, but maybe you can guess what brand. If you can guess what brand, um, you know what? Random giveaway. If you can guess two of the brands that i'm going to talk about in my luxury haul you win a gift card of 50 dollars of whatever store you choose so we're gonna do a random giveaway okay but you have to answer before the luxury haul video comes out so yeah <laughs> That's fun, right? I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys. Let's see. From the list of people who will get it right, I will choose two people to win um, the gift card. I'll put, you know, the rules down below. I mean, the rules are not bad. It's just a random giveaway. <laughs> I'm in a good mood, you guys, and I'm so happy to be back. So I'm going to show you guys appreciation because even when I was gone, you guys kept watching my videos and, you know, it, it really... It, is, it was good, so thank you. So that's my way of thanking you for sticking with me even when I wasn't present. I'm going to use two new powders. This is the Path McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Supreme Perfection Powder. I got this in the shade yellow. And this is the Huda Beauty Setting Powder. I just got a different color because I have this one but in cinnamon, but I wanted a lighter shade, so I got Blondie. I'm I know a lot of people don't like the smell of Huda Beauty powders, but I like them. Huda Beauty products, period. I like them. They smell rich. I like it. I don't mind. I like it. It's not heavily scented to me. If you have sensitive nose, then yeah, maybe you'll feel like it's like, oh my god, yeah, it is. It's heavily scented. But not to me, so I kind of like it. Nothing too much. I want it to be effortless. Speaking of spring, are you guys surprised in a pink shirt? I mean, <laughs> are you guys surprised? I barely wear colors, but pink to me, like this little cute baby pink is damn near neutral. So like, it doesn't bother me, but like hot pink, I would probably wear hot pink, but like in the bottom, like maybe shoes because i do have hot pink shoes i barely wear them but i do i have hot pink shoes and um yeah so i would probably put hot pink in the bottom top would be like a little lighter a more neutral color maybe this with hot pink that would be cute right i feel like my lips are crusty but they shouldn't be because i actually had lips uh lip thing on anyway i got this melt cosmetics cream blush light and sandy cheeks 
the only cream blushes that i've used are the one from fenty beauty so i don't really know how this one wears but we're going to try maybe too bright for me but let's see um i feel like it looks more like a highlight on me but it's it is called blush light so maybe it's supposed to be like a highlight i don't know you guys i have to get to know i guess i have to learn how to use it a little better anyway i have a nars blush which is a powder brush a powder blush it's called savage you guys know the little nars package savage is like a bronzy like you can see the shimmer a little bit so i'm gonna try to put it on top of this i put it like that what do you guys think i don't know I don't want to mess up my makeup because i don't know how to do makeup anymore not me not knowing how to do makeup anymore <laughs> you guys don't forget to check the links down below i will have everything that i'm using down below for you guys even if i did not show you on the screen it will be down there just in case you want to know what is it that i used okay you guys know i'm not really a falsies girl but maybe i should try lax la lax lash extensions <laughs> can i talk maybe i should try lash extensions that are very natural but they're not overpowering that's what i really want i should try it to see how it would come out on me but i don't want to get addicted to them and i'm going to use the fenty beauty setting spray i had the mini version of this i don't know if you guys remember but it broke so i definitely had to get the big one because i like it it's just it's such a soft mist all over your face yeah like it's so soft that i feel like i can just keep going and going and going and nothing comes out but i mean something is coming out but it's just so soft that it feels like nothing is actually coming out so i'm just going to use my makeup forever artist color pencil in the shade limitless brown it's a very nice brown i also like the kkw i think new 3 or new 2.5 i also like kylie's pencil because they're very easy to glide on i love nyx pencils as well those are great options for nice brown lip pencil especially brown girl friendly so the artist color pen uh, not pencil the artist color lip gloss in the shade uncensored 2.0 i love this one but it's always like sold out so when i found it i hopped on it i'll link it down below it's very pretty i'll do a swatch on my hand so you can see how it looks it's also pigmented i don't need that you see i don't need that much it's a pretty nude and I just mash together because I also like when my lips peek through a little bit. A very nice nude color. So this is the end of the video. I really truly hope you enjoyed this makeup. I mean, it's the same makeup I always do. But this is using new products. So, <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did guess which luxury brands that I will be featuring in my video next week, don't forget to put that comment down below before that video comes out. I will choose two winners. It's just a random giveaway just to say thank you for supporting me, you guys. Don't forget to like. Remember to subscribe. Share with your friends and family. And also, all the rules to the giveaway will be in the description down below also all the links don't forget shop the links okay thank you bye